Ah, so good. I was dreaming to try the bone ball with a queen. <laughs> Only the emperor can walk through this one. I'm in the middle of a lot of street that has been blocked. Uh, yeah. Make this moment really special when we know this. Cafe Dengel, Cafe Nice. By the way guys, we are now in a new city at Hue. This is our first day. Our main objective of today is to go to the famous imperial city. Well, it's already hot. <laughs> Only the emperor can walk through this one. I'm really glad that we are here. In the meantime, we will also have a lot of food like this one. I want to try the bon bue. Bon bue. Bon bue. Huh? <laughs> bon bue. Ah, yeah. I'm not sure that I know this dish actually, as a Vietnamese. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of happy that I'm going to try the bon bue in Hue. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is how we start our day here in Vietnam. You wake me up for all day. <laughs> this is really strong. Wow, so strong. <laughs> That's so good. The next time we have to try the Takbik Cafe Mui, I don't know what to expect with this. Wow. In Hanoi, we tried a lot of different kind of coffee too, like the egg coffee and uh, I have beer coffee. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If you haven't seen the video of the Hanoi egg coffee, just check it out. It was really fun and kind of unexpected. <laughs> We have a beautiful day today, super lucky. Beautiful river, super large. You can see the beautiful bridge there also. This is a really beautiful city. Can you see the big flag there? And this is where we are heading now to the citadel of Hue. We have around uh, 20 minutes walk. It's not that far. We just have to cross this beautiful bridge. Alright, we are already on the other side of the bridge. This looks uh, super nice also here. Here there is a lot of uh, dragon uh, costume. Oh, look at that. The entrance is really beautiful. Just before going to visit the citadel, we are going to have some food. And here I think that we found a nice one, Lac Tien. This is recommended by a trip advisor. This is a specialty here of Hue, the Ban Kwai. And here we have a famous Ban Bue. Ban Bue? Ban Bue? <laughs> no, I think everything actually. Yeah. Even the name Louis, the Ban Kun, and Ban Bok. What do you ask? Uh, for the toilet? For the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, oh. Yeah. Oui. Moi, je suis née en France. Ah oui. Mais pas en France. En France, à Paris. Paris. À l'école de Rouen, c'est très longtemps avant. Ah, à l'école de Rouen. Oui, longtemps avant. Hein. Wow. Oui. Ton français, il est bien. Merci. <rire> Tes enfants aussi parlent français? Oui. Maintenant, mon fils, lui, maintenant, oui, il ne comprend pas. Lui, il apprend français. Ça, c'est la première fois que je mange Ben Chai. Il a mis moins Luan. <rire> Mon prénom français c'est Marilyn. Ah, ma Mais Lynn c'est plus facile. Ah, oui, oui. Ça c'est ça y est. Ça c'est bon. Vous, vous attendez petit peu la lune venir. Mm. Petit peu, petit peu, petit peu, petit peu ici. Ici et après hop, on mélange. Et on mélange. So well. Oh, so so well. Oh. 
reading sparing. Yeah, reading sparing because yeah, it's hard. So we're bang away, Kim. Really beautiful. And this one, we're bang away. Cheers, guys. Oh, super fresh. I'm super excited. I was dreaming to try the bun bo way at way. Mmm. Mmm. It's really different from the pho. It is spicy. Not spicy. But uh, there is like uh, almost like a shrimp flavor. The noodle is different from pho. This I one agree. is more, it's more rounded. If you want to change a little bit from the pho, I think this is a good soup. Mm. Since I came here in Vietnam, I eat pho uh, like almost every day. <laughs> yeah, he's not lying when he say almost every day. I think that the maximum he didn't eat pho is well, only one day. Yeah. <laughs> and then I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is so crispy. Vegetables from here. Cucumber. Big one. Yeah. So here. This is sauce. Beautiful. <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of bangsao, but way yeah. more crispy. Oh, ah, yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, it's very good. And the good news is that uh, you can find bonbue everywhere. I think that it's more common to find bonbue than uh, pho most here. Mm. It's been a long time I didn't eat pho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people here are really proud of their dish and we understand why. Merci beaucoup, c'était très bon. Merci. It's so weird to speak in French in Vietnam. Ah, uh, we can see the Hue Imperial City here. We have to find a way to go there. I think that we just have to walk in here. This is definitely from here, as there is many tourists there. And here you can see a lot of tourist car, bus. So here we just paid our tickets, 200,000 won per person. Look at that. I'm really glad that we are here. This is the Meridian Gate, the main entrance way to the Huey capital city. So here you have a free archway and the middle one. Only the emperor can walk through this one. Oh, that's why it's closed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Inside of the imperial city. So what do we have here? Duong So number one. Here we have the main buildings of the imperial city. We can see that this is huge. We are only here. Number one. So we do something like you. Doop, 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 doop. Let's go. special to be here. It was home of the uh, last uh, emperor of Vietnam, the Nguyen uh, dynasty from uh, 1802 to 1945. How you say it then? Nguyen? Not Nguyen, Nguyen. Nguyen. And also this place uh, from the 160 buildings, only uh, 10 major structures remained after the battle. So uh, make this moment really special when we know this. Ah, too bad this one is in renovation. We cannot see the building, but we can see a beautiful picture <laughs> <laughs> until uh, 2025. 20, uh, okay, so this one uh, done. <laughs> Let's continue. I just learned that the Hue Imperial City has been recognized as a World Natural Heritage by UNESCO in uh, 1993. Well, it's already hot. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to visit Huang Bay City, make sure to have some uh, sunscreen and hat and umbrella maybe. Oh yeah, feels good. <laughs> This is quite impressive. This is a city so big to put stamp on document. Oh, we can buy actually. I think this one is a replica and it costs 200,000. Look at this one. 
French currency. République française, 1908. We were quite hesitating actually we to visit uh, this place because we saw on the internet that there was a lot of buildings in renovation. Uh, we didn't know if it was worth it or not. Yeah. Um, but still, we can imagine yeah. how beautiful it can be here. And also, I'm quite surprised by the number of people. Now it's Saturday. I don't feel like overcrowded. Yeah, no, not at all. So we can really take our time to walk and enjoy and visit. I think this is one of the main buildings, the Purple Forbidden City. This is where the Emperor was living, the house of the Emperor. We cannot go in the building, but at least we can see outside and uh, this is uh, really beautiful. Yeah, we can't come to Hue yeah. every year, so we have to seize the opportunity now yeah. and see what we can see. Yeah. And if we can come back, we will. Ah oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure yeah. Wow, this is impressive. This uh, small little building is the reading room of the Emperor. A whole room just for reading. Behind here you have a little nice park. It's really cute. As you can feel the peaceful atmosphere. Reading here will be really nice. So this is the room where he actually read. <laughs> like a uh, true show on the day it's really nice we can uh, feel the ambience of the room imagine like the old time Three hours. We did the half, I think. Ten buildings out of sixteen. I think that it depends on the people. If you want to visit yeah. all the square of the Imperial City or not, <laughs> but if you want just to do the main one, maybe in three hours it's enough. Yeah. Or maybe you have to be really quick. Like you see, you take one picture and you go to the another one. Uh, where we are. <laughs> We don't even know which way we have to go. This is the place where the mother of the queen lives. Nine urns for here, four there, and one here. This represents the nine emperors of Nguyen. Oh, what is going on here? Beautiful view of the flagpole. We are now upstairs at the Meridian Gate. And actually, there is a lot of people coming uh, still. It's already around 4 p.m. I think it's closed at 5. There is a big drum here. I imagine that this was uh, to maybe announce something. It uh, announced the entry and the exit of, uh, of the Emperor. It was also used to tell the time. This is 
the royal treasury and this is our last building in the imperial city it's done we finished <laughs> all the building and we took around six hours four hours and 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's feasible. We are really lucky to be able to visit this place. Oh uh, yeah. Very nice. Super nice, we are super fast here and we stumble upon this vending machine. Iced tea, water, Pepsi, 7up, you have even yogurt. We need some energy. First step, select the item you need on screen. Number 48. What is that? It's not that. You can try 49. What is that? <laughs> we want the energy drink. This one, not this one. I don't know, maybe it's like a generic image. Come on, come on. Oh, yes! Nice. Yes. Ah, so good. So, this is the revive energy drink of Vietnam, I guess. It's like a very sweet uh, taste with a little bit of uh, gas. We like it. This is really nice. There is like a walking street here just along the river and we can actually walk until there. It's going pretty far. I think that we can actually uh, walk all the way to the night market of Wei. I can imagine people coming here just walking after a nice dinner just to digest. Okay, let's have a seat also. Nice! Like every local. It would be nice actually to buy some snacks and drinks, enjoying some food with a view on the river. Oh, look at that, guys! Incredible! Wow, so beautiful! Wow, did I expect that? Really a good surprise. I wonder until what time it will be like this. So guys, if you want to see the bridge with a lot of beautiful colors, come after 6 p.m. I have no idea of what the night market looks like. It seems quite lively. <laughs> This is actually more like a bar street. I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I was thinking like a night market, you know, like something that we can find in uh, Thailand, uh, With some many souvenir. Things, so yeah. <laughs> we can find something to eat. Oh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. I'm in the middle of a lot of street that has been blocked for the pedestrian. Another one here. And then another one here. This is so huge. It's like they blocked the whole city for the working street. Oh, they even installed some uh, games now. Nice, we found this nice restaurant here. We order two way food. It is... Um, what is it already? Ban Beo. <laughs> huh? Ban Beo. Uh, yeah, we order Ban Beo and Chatom. 
It's a specialty here in Hue. Okay, but hopefully we find our restaurant first. Yeah. 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 The ladies just asked us to, uh, to move because I think that we received uh, the rent. And uh, yeah, look at that. We have a big plate of uh, ban, ban bell. And uh, it looks amazing. Bon appétit! It's made of rice, I think. Glutinous rice. Oh, it's spicy. I think it's like a uh, Vietnamese mochi. Oh. Mm. Really good. I think you have some meat and a little bit of flavor of the shrimp. What do you prefer? Ban bao or, or tatum? I think this one. Oh, this, this one? one? Yeah, this one is more special. Mm. Something that um, I don't really eat. I mean, it's so fun. Like, it's raining, heavily now. But they just enjoy the, the moment. They just enjoy the life. They just took advantage of the situation. There is a lot of water, so they just made like uh, a boat, paper boat, just uh, on the water. So it's kind of funny, really, it's really nice to, uh, to see the, this kind of small uh, happiness. It's very really nice. Just wait for the rain to stop so we can go back home. So we hope that you enjoyed this video in Hue and we will see you in the next one. Bun Bo Hue. Bun Bo Hue. Finally, I can eat the Bun Bo Hue.